courts in general should follow their their past precedents it is a precedent of the united states supreme court and it has been reaffirmed many times over the past uh, 45 years all that uh, that courts in general should follow their their past precedents and it's important for a variety of reasons it's important because it limits the power of the, of the judiciary it's important because it protects reliance interests and it's important because it, ref it reflects the view that courts should respect the judgments and the wisdom that are embodied in prior judicial decisions. Again, I would tell you that Roe versus Wade, decided in 1973, is a precedent of the United States Supreme Court. It has been reaffirmed. The reliance interest considerations are important there. And all of the other factors that go into analyzing precedent have to be considered. It is a precedent of the United States Supreme Court. It was reaffirmed in Casey in 1992 and in several other cases. Important things to keep in mind about Roe v. Wade is that it has been reaffirmed many times over the past uh, 45 years, as you know. And uh, most prominently, most importantly, reaffirmed in Planned Parenthood versus Casey in 1992. Do you agree with Justice Scalia's view that Roe was wrongly decided? <clears throat> Senator, I completely understand why you are asking the question. Liar. But again, I can't pre-commit or say, yes, I'm going in with some agenda because I'm not. I don't have any agenda. I have no agenda to try to overrule Casey. Um, I have an agenda to stick to the rule of law and decide cases as they come. It's all about controlling women, not about improving birth control access or free birth control. That saves conception clowns. Six weeks is a P that women can simply remove. Yet they don't even adopt. Half of wildlife has been wiped out by overpopulated, destructive people in just 40 years. And they want to reduce birth control. Crisis. Small government, my arse. Impeach the radical Supreme Court. Abort the court. 